Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. And our fragrance of the day is Latafa Kima. I hope I said that right. Um, I am sharing this. I did buy it from Amazon. I'll put the link down below. With, I believe it's going for, let me see, I left it up for $24.99. I'll put the link down below if you guys want to go pick it up after this review. I am really enjoying my Latafa fragrances that I've been sharing with you all week along with some other more extreme mainline popular ones as well. So I hope you subscribe to my channel to not miss out on anything. So let's go ahead and talk about this beauty. Well, first of all, the box is gorgeous. Um, whenever you buy a Latafa purchase, you want to make sure it does have this little hologram somewhere on the box so you know that it's a real Latafa. And they always include this hologram somewhere on their box. Normally is in the front. And that's a very good sign. Now let's talk about this beauty. It's absolutely gorgeous. The bottle is insane. Um, it's this beautiful emerald green in the gold. Um, this is up here like a plastic, but the glass is very heavy, very sturdy. Um, just very dense feeling in your hand because it's so heavy. Then it has... A darkness here like a black cap underneath it here now when you open it it's gonna look like this okay this is a big one like I said it's a hundred mil so in English terms meaning here in America is a 3.4 fluid ounce which is amazing for a du parfum now let's talk about these notes okay I do have them up here so the top notes are citrus pepper and cedar lavender sage and rosemary then you go into your middle notes. You got creamy, woody, vevitar, patchouli, musk, and oud, okay? And they consider this a wonderfully fresh and woody frag fragrance that's suitable for any occasion. And I would have to agree. <laughs> now, when you think about oud, when you think about an oud, you immediately think, oh, it's gonna be very tobacco-y, it's gonna have like a smoky, um, barnyard very deep overwhelming no that's not the case for this one so this would be a very good fragrance if you want to introduce yourself to a very light oud um, because you can barely notice it's it's there but you can barely notice it which is why I like this one so much I like my ouds and I like my stronger ouds the ones that smell more like a tobacco-y type of a scent kind of resinous um, but you don't get that with this. You really and truly don't. You're, you're getting um, the depth of the patchouli of the musk. You are getting the, um, the other beautiful notes along with it, which is very sexy. It's a very seductive, sexy scent. Um, Age-wise, I would say 20 plus to be on the safe side because it is a little bit more seductive. It's a little bit more serious. It's a little bit more... Um, it has like a depth to it. This is not a bright, beautiful, floral. No, this is the opposite. This is more intense. This has um, more seriousness to it, but it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, I do smell the lavender. I do smell the sage when it first comes out, and the rosemary is absolutely beautiful. And it does last several hours on me and even longer on my clothing. So, if you wanted to switch this into a small decanter um, and carry it with you so you can reapply after three or four hours, that would be the way to go. But for the price and the fact that it lasts that long and it has such a beautiful, beautiful um, composition to it, this is well worth it. I think this would be a lovely addition to anybody's um, collection of um, perfume. And um, I'm glad that I picked this one up because I was a little bit on the fence because of the oud, but I do enjoy ouds. I was just afraid that it might might have been overwhelming, but it's not. It's a very light oud, and this is a great way to get introduced to it without being overwhelmed by it. So the f lovely fragrance, absolutely beautiful. You do smell all those other herbally musk scents in here. And it's just a more seductive, sexy, confident fragrance. That's the best way to say it. That can carry you from day all the way into night. And I could see using this year round because the oud is not overwhelming. 
Normally ouds perform very well during the cold months of fall and winter and that's when you tuck them away and that's when you pull them out. But this one, everything else is forefront and then the heavier notes are really in the background just, you know, giving you that bass play. So this is absolutely beautiful. I would recommend it. I think you would enjoy it. I'll put the link down below if you want to go check it out. Bye.